Bonjour Isma. Bonjour Anna. Vous allez bien Vous êtes très bien. Et bonjour Robert. Yeah. Trending topic. TTT. Yeah. We are not going to talk about today. your top watch, which has the, <laughs> the camera on it. My watch is awesome, man. My watch is awesome. <laughs> well, let's take Very a, digital. <laughs> well, let's take a walk through the tech world, and today we are talking more on hacks. And Yahoo Mail has been hacked already. And last week we discussed a couple of hacks. And Yahoo has over 500 million accounts breached. And this hack was recently discovered, despite it was done two years ago. It was discovered during negotiation for a deal with Verizon, who wanted to buy the Yahoo uh, franchise for 4.8 billion dollars. The hack is believed to be the biggest in history and the FBI is already investigating it. Yahoo however believes a state sponsored actor was behind the hack. They are optimistic that the stolen information did not include unprotected passwords, payment card data or bank account information because those are stored on a different server. Meanwhile uh, the stolen information might include names unprotected passwords, telephone numbers, dates of birth, among others. A group of Yahoo users, however, in the U.S. have sued or filed a class action against Yahoo seeking damages for gross negligence over the data breach. And this is quite serious because 500 million accounts, yeah. you know, and mm -hmm. people can use it for so many other things and they'll make more money anyway. 500 million, I was looking at uh, the total number of users of Yahoo just yeah. before they were bought and it was almost that amount. So which yes. means everyone. Which means <laughs> everyone, like, almost everyone. No, and it's just <laughs> poor, yeah. 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 Uh, it's, yeah, Gmail. It's, well, yeah, things have changed. Right. Yeah. But they need to up their game because already there's a cyber criminal who uh, got this information out, claimed is selling millions of Yahoo users' data. And this got them thinking. And do you know how much he's selling it for? For $1,800. And Why? that was just in August. And people started thinking and then investigating and they found out that the breaches were made. And as a matter of urgency, you just have to change your password to avoid any further breaches. Now let's move away to the messaging apps. And so many messaging apps are in competition. Instagram upgraded to look like Snapchat. Mm -hmm. Telegram has gone out of business because WhatsApp uh, took over from it. Also, BlackBerry is out of business. Mm -hmm. Facebook's Messenger is kidnapping Facebook users. And then <laughs> Apple's iMessage is almost inexistent in Africa. But Google realized it has to also pick up and it introduced the new Allo messaging uh, app. And this app can help you run quick searches while you're chatting with other people. It can also suggest full replies to messages for you on the app. It helps also gives uh, games and also uh, doodles and stickers, which is an improvement to others, despite everyone doing the same. Mm -hmm. But Snapchat took it a step further on Saturday by introducing the new video recording glasses called Spectacles. The Spectacles are glasses that can record up to 10 seconds video at a time by tapping a button on the device. The video is then uploaded on Snapchat while you're chatting or uploading your videos to your followers. Mm -hmm. The Spectacle will be released early next year and the company says it has also changed its name to Snap to be able to produce other devices. So now it's everybody exciting. is trying to add so many other things mm -hmm. to their of, products. The end of privacy and freedom. <laughs> well, say that, but at the end of the day, <laughs> you're I'm I'm negative. Out. I've, I've, I've never <laughs> loved the internet. However much right now I'm using it, yes, I use it, but I don't like it. It's, it's, uh -huh. right. it's <laughs> a big plan to colonize people again. <laughs> yeah. well, let's go to what everyone is talking about. And this is Nike's first self-lacing shoes. And these shoes are called Hyper Adapt 1.0. And they have sensors in the heels. And also, they help tighten these laces automatically. They are rechargeable and surprisingly lightweight. Footballer Cristiano Ronaldo wore them in March to show what the company is bringing out. And they recently unveiled the features of the new shoes. And it will be scheduled to come out in November. It's already scheduled to come out in November. Before I get too excited, the shoes do not lace themselves, but they rather tighten or loosen when you wear them. And they have sensors that helps you uh, just put them on because when you wear them, it senses that you are wearing it and it 
loosens, is, is and then thing. when you wear it too, it tightens after. They'll catch your feet off. <laughs> <laughs> they are solar wireless, and they also have battery charges. And uh, I just uh, can't wait for flying shoes, anyway. <laughs> oh, yeah, that's very good. Thank you very much, Ismail. On se retrouve mardi prochain pour une autre chronique. See you next week for another high-tech segment. Voilà.